Here's a milling tip to get really good margins when you're using Emacs. Emacs is still one of my go-to materials posteriorly for on ice when the margins are high and dry. I do like it, it's predictable, the strength is there. The secret is getting enough occlusal reduction so you can have an optimal design without having to use a lot of tools. But there's one thing we have to do now with the current version of the software, and that is the manufacturers set up like marginal thickness and minimal thickness parameters, which we can't override in defaults anymore. So we can't override them in the design screen. But what I have found with Emacs, that even with Prime Mail, so I use Prime Mail mainly for zirconia. It's the zirconia beast, and I use my M6L for ceramics. But I do find that I don't like that microchipping at the margin. And it's just the behavior of how you mill it out in the intermediate state of, of the Emacs. So the secret for me there is to have a marginal thickness parameter at 100 rather than 50. The default is set up at 50. I've notified Aviclair that in my opinion, I think 50 is too thin. But at 100 with the current version of the software, I'm getting a really clean mill from a chamfer to a shoulder. Now, if I'm down to a feather, I'm gonna use the EF Burr mill. But in most cases for bread and butter dentistry, I want 100 microns marginal thickness. Here's the caveat. You gotta set it first because once you set it and you go back to your design sequence, it reproposes the restoration. And I've done this uh, where I've designed it, I forgot to do it, I go set it because I want those clean margins. I finish everything, everything under 10 magnification and I just want those clean margins. So I'll go back and reset that marginal thickness and redesign it. Well, that's one way to get proficient <laughs> in your sequence of design, but it's something that I want to avoid if I can. So I hope this tip helps you, particularly for those that really want those clean margins with Emacs. Each material mills differently. Like if I'm milling a composite polymer type of restoration, you can mill those thin, there's no chipping, right? It's just a different type of material. Emacs mills extremely well, but you do have to pay attention to some of these little rules. So it's about optimizing our system to get the best outcome. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them below, type them in the comment section, and I will respond accordingly. I love this online community and I love to hear from you. You folks have a great day and have a great cup of tea.